In this presentation, we are going to solve our problem number 2 on superposition theorem. And according to this problem, we are required to find voltage V0, which is this voltage by using the superposition theorem. And uh, before we move to the solution of this problem, I want you to analyze the given network. I hope you are done. When you observe the given network, you will find we have two sources. This one is our source number one and this one here is our source number two. And uh, both the sources are independent in nature and therefore we will find out voltage across one ohm resistor because of this source when this source is turned off and then we will find out voltage across this resistor because of this source when this source is turned off and then finally we will add the two obtained voltages to have V0 and apart from this we are having one two inductors and one capacitor now we will move on to our solution and we will start with case number one in which we will consider this source alone we will consider one angle zero degree ampere source so let us do the modifications to our network the modification number one is we will replace the voltage source by the short circuit and the modification number two is we will rename v naught to v naught prime and our aim in case number one is to find out v naught prime and we can have v naught prime if we can have the current in this branch let's say the current is i1 and to find out i1 we can use the fact that this resistor and this inductor are connected in parallel connection and the total current entering is equal to one angle zero degree ampere and why they are in parallel because this branch this branch is short circuited this node and this node are connected by the zero resistance wire and therefore when current reaches this node it will go entirely through this wire and not through this branch because this wire is offering the resistance equal to zero ohm and the current will choose the path with least resistance and hence no current will flow in this branch and it is short circuited now moving on to our parallel connection we know in parallel connection current gets divided so we can use the current divider rule we can use the current divider rule we know how to apply the current divider rule when there is a parallel combination the current in this branch which is i1 will be equal to the total current entering which is one angle zero degree multiplied to the opposition offered by the other branch which is j ohm divided by the sum of opposition offered by this branch and the other branch so we have one plus j one plus j now when you convert one angle zero degree in rectangular form you will have one so i1 is equal to 1 multiplied to j over 1 plus j so we can say that current i1 is equal to j over 1 plus j ampere and voltage v naught prime is equal to i1 multiplied to 1 ohm so we will have v naught prime equal to j over 1 plus j volt so in this way we have obtained the voltage due to this source alone now we will move on to our case number two in which we will find out the voltage across one ohm resistor because of our source number two this means we will consider our source providing one angle zero degree volt and in this scenario we will turn off our current source so we will open circuit the current source this is our modification number one 
The modification number two is we will rename v naught to v naught double prime. Now let's see how we can calculate v naught double prime. And uh, for this, I will assume here the potential is zero volt. This means potential here will be one angle zero degree volt. Potential here will become one angle zero degree volt as well. Potential here will be zero. Potential here will be zero. This branch is open circuited. This means if current I2 is flowing through this resistor, then the same current I2 will flow through this inductor. This means they are in series combination. And across this branch, the voltage is one angle zero degree minus zero. That is one angle zero degree volt. So we have a series combination and we know the voltage across the entire branch. So we can apply the voltage divider rule. So we will use the voltage divider rule to find out voltage V naught double prime. We know voltage V naught double prime will be equal to the net voltage across the branch which is one angle zero degree multiplied to the resistance offered by this branch which is one divided by sum of these two one plus j in the rectangular form one angle zero degree is equal to one so v naught double prime v naught double prime is equal to one over one plus j volt so in this way we have obtained the voltage across one ohm resistor because of our second source as well now by using the superposition theorem v naught will be equal to v naught prime plus v naught double prime this implies v naught is equal to j over one plus j j over one plus j plus v naught double prime which is 1 over 1 plus j 1 over 1 plus j the denominator is same so we will have v naught equal to 1 plus j over 1 plus j which is 1 volt so this is the answer